Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Kevin McCall, Chris Brown situation, honey. So as you all know, a few months ago, I had did the video when they first got into it. And Chris Brown literally wrote his ass a book on Instagram, went off on Kevin. And now Kevin McCall is back at it again. So what went down is that basically, um, as we all know, he is Eva the Diva, Eva Marcel's baby's father. They have a little girl together. Her name is Marley. And so Eva accused Kevin McCall of beating her ass and, you know, it was all this domestic violence accusation. But then supposedly later came out that Eva was lying, that he hadn't beat her ass. You know, I don't know. I don't really check for these two. But anyhow, on Mother's Day, Eva took to Instagram and posted a picture of her new boyfriend holding her baby. And so when Kevin McCall saw this picture, he was really upset because he does not have access to his daughter. He has not seen his youngest daughter in a long time. He only sees her via Instagram because Eva won't let him see her because Eva won't let Kevin see his daughter, okay? So Kevin started going off, you know, threatening Eva's boyfriend and everything else. So that kind of died down on Mother's Day. And then yesterday, he was talking some more stuff, and then Eva's brother got involved, and Eva's brother started saying some things to Kevin McCall. So then all of a sudden, Kevin McCall tweeted out, you know what, to all the Eva's brothers, if y'all want it, y'all come see me. Don't send no game bangers to my house. Y'all come see me personally. And then out of the blue, he threw Chris Brown in there. So this whole situation was nuts. He said the first person on his list that he wants to fight is Chris Brown. He said that Chris Brown is a pussy, honey, and that he's going to overdose by the time he's 30. So when those words hit the internet, folks started tweeting at Chris Brown, and I just sat there, honey, sipping slow, waiting for Chris Brown's ass to respond, because you know Chris Brown was going to have something to say honey okay so anyway so of course Chris Brown took to Instagram and he went off and him and Kevin McCall literally went back and forth all night long Kevin was posting videos Chris Brown was posting videos the whole situation was a hot damn mess go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary Those nights again. Just gotta paint. You know, just be proud to be ugly. Being ugly ain't nothing wrong with that. It's not like I'm the type of ugly that's like, oh, get the f away from me. It's like the type of ugly, like, a turtle is ugly. A turtle is ugly, but we like it. I'm not gonna, like, act like somebody I'm not. That's like me going.
I just woke up and I thought about something. If this nigga wrote all these songs that he claiming he wrote, why he ain't write no more? Oh wait, this is just one part of my house. This is life before K Mac <laughs> and life after K Mac. Man, I'm gonna stop playing with this nigga. He's a bitch. Let's move a little closer. But niggas, we catching that fade or not? Catching that fade or not? Fuck niggas, we catching that fade Gangster in them DMs. Send my GPS, I don't see him at all. Fuck niggas, catching that fade or not? Fuck is David Blaine. How did you make my enemies disappear? That's a real cool magic trick, I don't see him. All right, so you guys just saw the comments in the back and forth between Kevin McCall and Chris Brown. Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, why did Little Mo jump her little messy ass in the whole situation? So Little Mo takes the Instagram and basically tells Kevin McCall that, you know, she's on the outside looking in and that basically he needs to move on and have a whole new baby and forget about the other baby. And I'm like, bitch, that's your advice to him? You're acting like, you know, him having another kid is supposed to, you know, replace the one that he has with Eva. That's still his child. You know, it's funny that she can tell him to go have another baby and just start over. She's not telling him, you know what, instead of just going to go have another baby, how about finding a quality woman, you know what I'm saying, and building a family and a foundation to have a child in as opposed to just going out and getting a random person pregnant. Little Mo's advice was stupid as hell, and Kevin McCall has another child besides the one that he has with Eva the Diva. He has an older child by another woman. So he has another kid, but he's worried about this child, and he wants to see this child because he doesn't have access to this child. So Little Mo basically telling him to forget about this child and just go find another child to me is just stupid and ignorant but anyhow you know the whole situation to me is just insane I feel like at the end of the day these are some grown men and whatever issues you have you need to take it off of social media you know it's just ridiculous I feel like Kevin is just real frustrated he's mad because his career hasn't really taken off ever since he left Chris Brown and ever since they got into it you know he used to be a household name now a lot of people are really not checking for him or his music like that and I think it really bothers Kevin and Kevin is very talented he has a beautiful voice he can sing he's a talented songwriter and he really helped Chris Brown and Tyga when they came up with those songs but I feel like it must have been a case of their egos you know Kevin wanted to be a bigger star he wanted more limelight Chris Brown wasn't trying to share it with Kevin because he knew that Kevin was talented so I feel like both of their egos got in the way and that's how a lot of men end up losing their lives due to ego and bravado and I hope that him and Kevin can eventually talk everything out and let all this drama go because it's not that serious now as far as Kevin and Eva if Kevin feels in his heart of hearts that he did not abuse Eva and he did nothing wrong then he needs to go to court and fight for visitation he has every right to spend time with his daughter. The same way that Eva has a right to spend time with her daughter, so does Kevin. So instead of taking an Instagram to go off on the boyfriend and to cuss folks out, he needs to be going down to court and fighting for visitation to see his child. You know, every child needs a father in their life, and if the father is there and he's willing to be there, Eva needs to allow that relationship to flourish as opposed to just keeping the baby to herself and not allowing the baby to go see Kevin. So anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation honey once again concerning kevin mccall and chris brown do you feel like kevin mccall was all the way in the wrong for calling out chris brown for no reason and then how do y'all feel about chris brown's hair i'm like what the hell did he get a perm his hair is all straight and silky on the top it's like chris brown no good and damn well he don't have no straight hair naturally chris brown is a straight up mess and then also um let me know what you guys think about little mo's advice to kevin mccall basically telling him to go have another baby as if that's supposed to just resolve the whole issue and then how do you feel about eva the diva not allowing kevin mccall to see his daughter so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.